This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Agitavach, Parsha Sayikra. Parsha Sayikra speaks about the various karbanites. We all know that as an introduction to Shachras, as an introduction to Psukid Zimra, we say the Perak of Zvachim, Ezehu Mekoiman, Shal Zvachim before Shachras. Why is that the parak of Mishnayas chosen? There's so many prakim of Mishnayas. Well, the Gemara says in Brachos, "Daf Lamed Aleph Amed Aleph Tan Rabbanon Ein Oindim Lehispale Loi Mitoch Din V'Loi Mitoch Tvar Halacha Ela Mitoch Halacha Psuka." One is not uh, allowed to be engrossed in matters of Torah that require understanding different opinions, but rather decisive halacha. Therefore, says the Beis Yosef in Archaim Simon Nun in the name of the Ra'ah, in his Chidushim of Masech Debrachas, Daf Lamed Beis, the reason why they were masaking to say the parak of Ezehu Makaiman is because it is a parak that has no machlaikes, and it's Mishnah Brura Lamoisha Misinai. Therefore, this qualifies as Halacha Psuka. There is no machlaikes. It is a rare parak of Mishnah that has no machlaikes, and it meets the bill of what the Gemara Bracha says, we only dab in Mitoich Halacha Psuka. Still, it requires elucidation because there are other prakim in Mishnayis that have no machloikas. Masech the Kalem, Perk Chav Dalet, Masech the Mikvois, Perk Zayin, and those prakim we learn by a yard site in, in memory, Le'ilay Nishmas, a mess. They also have no machloikas. But the Chida explains in the Shal Sutchuvois, Toiv Ayin Simen Yud Ches, that the reason why particularly this parak of Mishnayis was chosen is because this is a parak that speaks about karbonois, and of course we know Tvila Shachris is Keneged, the Tamid Shal Shachar. So it's really a combination of factors, being that we're davening, and davening is, a, is in lieu of karbonois, and this is a parak about karbonois that has no machloikas. Added to this, the Arches Chaim writes in Dine Mei Abrachis Ois Tes Zayin that the reason why Chazal were Masakein to read the parak of Ezehu Makaiman is because it is the site of all the Karbanais, because it's a description of many forms of Karbanais, Kachem Kadashim, Kachem Kalim, Oila Chatos Asham, Pesach, Maser, Bechar, etc. The Yisoyed Vishar Shavoida writes that look in the Kisvei Hari about Ezehu Makaiman. Each and every Mishnah is a tikkun b'fnei atzma in the Olam HaYisrael El Yonim. But let's focus on the words of the Beis Yosef. He says, it's Mishnah Brura L'Moisha Misinai. What do those words mean? Mishnah Brura L'Moisha Misinai? Let's speak out an incredible comment of the Tveris Yisrael in his commentary to the Mishnahis, Masech Damakos, Parak Gimel, Mishnah Gimel, and the Boyaz Ois Gimel. Says the Tveris Yisrael, Umatsasi Kasov, he says, any Mishnah that has no machlekes is mesura belshoina o kahavayasa mimoysh rabbeinu. Not just there's something unique about a parak that has no machlekes, but if the parak has no machlekes, then this is exactly how this chelak of Tara Shabbat Peh was given to Moshe Rabbeinu with those very words. It's Tara Shabbat Peh mi pi hakadosh baruchu Moshe Rabbeinu. Because the Mishnahs that have machlekes the Machloikis was added to the original Mishnah, but the original text of the Mishnah are those Mishnahis and Prakim that have no Machloikis. Says the Tfaras Yisrael something Oyam Venaira. In Perak Ezehu Makaiman, we find that there's no Machloikis. That was given, these words were given with the precise words that Kadesh Baruch gave to Mashra Rabbeinu. And here's the proof. The Mishnah says, Kla'im. Klaim. There were no Klaim in the first Beis HaMikdash, in the second Beis HaMikdash. Only in the times of Moshe Rabbeinu were there Klaim. Is Araya Brura that the Lashon of Ezeo Mekayman are the precise words that Kosh Baruch Hu gave to Moshe Rabbeinu? It's the, Hashem didn't only give Moshe Rabbeinu the Chomesh. We know Hashem gave Moshe Rabbeinu the Tarsh Peh. The Chiddush here is that Ezeo Mekayman are the exact Words of Torah Shabbat Peh that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave to Moshe Rabbeinu. In a way, this is the highest darga of Torah Shabbat Peh. These Mar Makaimais that we're learning from come from the Sefer Oitzer Ploi Satoira on Parshas Vayikra. And in a footnote, 
he brings down another proof that there were texts, texts of Mishnah that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave Moshe Rabbeinu on Har Sinai. The Gemara in Erevin Daf Chaf Aleph on the Beis, Darash Rava, V'yoyser Shahaya Koheles Chacham, Oid Limed Das Es Ha'am, Izein V'chikar, Tikein Meshalem Harbe. Says the Gemara, he taught the people Das, he taught them Simane Ta'amim, and he explained Bemari de Damila, says Rashi, what does it mean, Agmare Besimane Ta'amim? Kavala, Mesoyres, Besimanim, Shloimai was Kaiveya, traditions of Trap, whether it's the Mikra, Bain Bit Mishnah, meaning, we see from here in the times of Shloimai Amelech, there were already Mishnayas and there were Ta'amim, that Shloimai was Mesakain, whether the Chumash or the Mishnah. That means there were already Mishnayas in the times of Shloimai, Mishnayas in the times of Shloimai. That's right. The Machloikas that we have in the Mishnah are added emendations to the original Mishnah that was given from HaKadosh Baruch Hu to Moshe, Mipi HaGvura. Let's just add... Rabbi Yitzchak Isaac mi Kamarna in the Shulchan Atar and Hilchus Baruch Hu Shachas and Memches says an amazing thing. Perk Ezel Mekoyman, which is about the Karbanus and has its Mishnayis. There's no Machlokes. There are six other Prokim that has no Machlokes. Meiser Sheni Perk Aleph, Yevam is Perk Tes, Shvu is Perk Ches, Zvachim Perk Hei, Meila Perk Beis, Nagam Perk Gimel. Nevertheless, they chose this Perk because it includes all the Karbanus. If a person has a dispute with a Rasha or a Mechutzaf. Learn these six prakim, and it will be Moshech Shalom. So every morning, as we begin our tefillah, we learn Ezehu Makayman, which is the site of Kala Kabanes Kulam. It's the highest darg of Tarsh Peh. Ein boy Machlekes. These are the very words that Moshe Rabbeinu heard me piagvura. It's a school of for Shalom. Hashem Oizah Amo Yitain. Hashem Yivarech Es Amoi VaShalom Agitavach. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.